Today I'm going to show you how to quantitatively transfer a solution into a volumetric pipette. So I have already dissolved my zinc metal in weak nitric acid. First, I'm going to just pour my dissolved zinc directly into the volumetric flask. It is important to note that when you are dissolving a metal that you have it completely dissolved before you put it into your volumetric flask. Also, if you need to use so the sonicator or a hot plate to dissolve your solid, you need to make sure that your solution comes to room temperature before you fully dilute it to the appropriate volume. I'm going to now rinse out my beaker with some water. So I'm trying to squirt the water along the sides of the beaker to make sure that I have fully transferred all of the dissolved zinc. You want to do this step at least five times. I'll just repeat again. You can also sw swirl it slightly again just to make sure you are fully getting all of the zinc. Okay. So you would repeat that procedure three more times to make sh with the um, beaker which held the zinc. If you are weighing something out into a weigh boat, you would do the same procedure. You would first dump, you would first put the solid directly into the volumetric flask, and then you would proceed to rinse the weigh boat into the volumetric flask. You would do this at least five times as well. In this segment, I'll be showing how to use a volumetric pipette and how to use it in order to create a diluted solution. First, you'll want to make sure that the volumetric pipette is adequately rinsed out with water. You want to do this five times, and you can take a beaker of water, being sure it's the water that you're not going to actually use for diluting, of course, and use the pipette bulb to suck up some water into the pipette. Gently tilt and rotate the pipette carefully so that the water travels the length of the pipette and then allow the water to drip out into a waste container. You can also blow out the remainder in this case, but do not do this when you're making an actual solution, as the pipettes are calibrated to deliver the amount of volume without having to blow out the remainder in the pipette. Once you have rinsed the pipette with water, you are now ready to make the solution. Take the stock solution, or the solution from which you are going to dilute, and pour it into a, a separate beaker. Never pipette directly from the volumetric flask of the solution. First, you'll want to make sure that the pipette has been washed with the solution at least five times. To do this and to use the bulb properly, you want to make sure that your thumb is on top and that you're using the remainder of your fingers to squeeze the bulb itself uh, in order to maintain full control. Draw up some of the solution into the pipette as before and roll again as before, covering the entire length of the volumetric pipette.
once this is finished, allow the solution to drop into the appropriate waste beaker and carefully blow out the remainder of it. Now you are ready to obtain the actual volume that you're going to use to make the diluted solution. Draw up the solution into the volumetric pipette. You may need to have several squeezes to do this. And what you want to do is put your thumb or one of your fingers firmly over the top to create a vacuum. Once the solution is above the mark, put down the bulb and place your finger above the mark and ever so slightly remove your finger to allow atmospheric pressure to return to the system. The level of the solution will drop and you want to make sure that the meniscus rests just upon the line. Once you're at that point, place your finger firmly above it so that the solution does not fall anymore. And carefully take the pipette, placing it over the volumetric flask in which you will make the solution, and release. It's important to remember not to blow out the remainder in this step. You're now ready to dilute the solution. During the first part of diluting, take a water beaker and start pouring water in. You'll want to swirl at least several times to aid the mixing process before the water gets up the neck of the flask. Once the water starts to approach the neck of the flask, be careful with your pouring. And towards the very end, use a plastic disposable pipette to deliver the final volume of water, making sure once again that the meniscus just touches the line on the flask. You want to make sure that you're patient with this process. Once the bottom of the meniscus is just above the line, you are now ready to invert the flask 15 times making sure that you've capped it and secured the cap as you go back and forth. Once you have done this 15 times, you have adequately prepared the solution and it is ready for use in whatever application it's needed for.
Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a micropipette. So these are the micropipettes. We've got a lot of different sizes. This one is the one to five milliliter micropipette. And note that you can change the dial um, in increments of five by twisting this um, knob on the top. We've also got the 100 to 1,000 microliter micropipette, the 20 to 200 microliter micropipette, and then the 5 to 50 microliter micropipette. So I'm going to demonstrate using the 100 to 1,000 microliter pipette today. You'll need to make sure that you get the tip that's appropriate for your pipette. So this one uses the blue tips and then slide it on the base of the pipette and push it on firmly. You want to make sure that it's on very firm so that you don't have any leakage of the solution. And then you'll, you're ready to transfer your solution. So note that your setting is correct. We're going to transfer 500 microliters today. And then, um, so to suck up liquid, you depress this button once. As you can note, there are two levels. This is the first, and then here's the second. You want to make sure that when you're pulling up liquid, you only press down to the first. And then when you press down to release the liquid, you press all the way through to the second um, section. So when we're going to pipette our solution, we can put the tip in the liquid, press down to the first nozzle, and then suck that back up. And then we are ready to transfer it into our flask, where we will put the pipette in the flask depress down to the first notch and then all the way down to the second to make sure that we get all of the liquid out. And that's it. And then you can dilute your sample with water from here to finish the dilution. And then the last thing that you need to make sure that you do is throw the pipette tip in the trash because you cannot use the same pipette tip for more than one transfer. So to do that, you're going to want to press down on this button over the trash can and it will depress and push the knob off right here. So you can just do that and drop it into the trash. And that's it.